What's up guys, Competitor's Corner this week, we've got the CrossFit Classic Hero Wad DT. DT is five rounds, 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, six push jerks, um, 155, 105 is the weights. Um, so this workout, three barbell movements, and the most important thing is trying to figure out how you're going to break up these reps over the, over the five rounds. So uh, when I look at it, I think, okay, the most important thing that I wanna make sure I get done is I wanna make sure that I get done my six push jerks unbroken every round. And the reason I say that is because if you break up your push jerks, um, let's say you get four and you're just so tired you gotta put the bar back down, that means that you're gonna have to clean the bar up, do an extra bar, uh, extra clean, get it up to your shoulders and get the push press going again. So that's really taxing. It's kind of like a built-in penalty for breaking up that, um, that push jerk set. So my goal is to make sure that my set of six stays unbroken each round. And then from there, how do I break up the rest of the workout so that I can get that six every time and not have to pay that kind of penalty for breaking up those push jerks. So that being said, deadlifts uh, are, the, are the easiest movement in the workout. Um, I'm trying to go unbroken on those, but if I end up having to break those um, in the later rounds, that's not a big deal. Um, bar goes to the ground, you take a step back, deep breath, and then you're right back into it. Um, the hang power cleans is where you wanna be strategic and not go too hard, too fast. Um, a lot of people will end up breaking these into two sets. Um, and what that will do is allow you to be a little bit more recovered uh, going into those push jerks to make sure that you get those push jerks done um, unbroken. So a little, a little sneaky tip that we wanna make sure that we do, we don't wanna be doing any extra work here. So when you're doing your deadlifts, it's a set of 12, you're gonna do a set of 11, okay? You're gonna do a set of 11, you're gonna step away from the bar, catch your breath, and then your 12th rep is gonna be the rep that you pick up into the hang clean position and then start your hang cleans with. You have to start your hang cleans with a deadlift anyways, so you might as well get credit for it on as your 12th list, 12th lift and not make it your 13th lift. Same thing with the hang power cleans. You're gonna do, um, whether you're breaking it up into two sets, let's say you do a set of five, put the bar down. You're gonna do a set of three, put the bar down. That gets you to eight. Your ninth one is gonna be when you're ready to do your push jerk. So then you'll pick it up, hang power clean, get credit for nine and go straight into your push jerks. If you go all the way up to the actual number of reps and then take a break, you're gonna be doing an extra rep to get into the next movement every time. So stop one shy and then take the credit when you're ready to do the next one moving over, all right? Um, this is gonna be super grip intensive, so if you feel your grip starting to go, you might wanna back off a little bit on it. Um, this, is, this is a grind. You, uh, you'll be resting with a bar not moving. Try and limit that rest, look up at the clock. Um, you know, 10, 15 seconds. Don't let that turn into 20, 25 seconds um, and just stick with it. And uh, we'll see some PRs on the board and, and have a good baseline for you guys to chase down next time we hit it. So have fun. Can't wait to see you all rock it. Peace.